This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the isoelectric point of amino acids. As we saw from the previous video, the charge on an amino acid depends on the pH. The pH at which an amino acid is electrically neutral is the isoelectric point. The isoelectric point is the pH at which an amino acid is electrically neutral. At its isoelectric point, an amino acid has both a positive and a negative charge, and it's known as a Zwitter ion. At the pH which is less than the pH of the isoelectric point, the amino acid forms a cation. At a pH which is greater than the pH of the isoelectric point, the amino acid forms a negative ion or an anion. Let's try an example. The pH of the isoelectric point of glycine is 6.0. Draw the structure of glycine at pH 3.0 and pH 9.0. Here we have the structure of glycine at pH 6.0, which is its isoelectric point. At its isoelectric point, an amino acid is electrically neutral. It has both a positive and a negative charge. So here we have the structure of glycine at pH 3.0. At pH 3.0, which is less than the pH of the isoelectric point, Glycine has a positive charge, it's a cation. Here's the structure of glycine at pH 9.0. At pH 9.0, which is greater than the pH of the isoelectric point, glycine forms a negative ion, which is an anion. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.